Chairman, I do appreciate the, the opportunity to share some of my, thought, my thoughts here. Certainly there are so many goals that we agree on. I think we both agree that the current health care system is broken, that it's unsustainable going in, in the current direction. We both have so many goals that we would share in common, access to, to health care. I would just like to bring my experiences overseeing health departments to this committee and say health departments are part of the solution. Community health centers are part of the solution. WIC programs are part of the solutions. So accentuating the positive is uh, so important to me and I think we can share those thoughts on how to even make them better. We both agree that there's an explosion of mental health problems across this nation and especially with our youth. Certainly COVID and the isolation exacerbated, but it started before then. And let's bring in people to figure out what's causing the mental health uh, epidemic here. And I have a feeling it's screen, screen time plays some, some impact in that. And I don't know how to, I don't want to overregulate, but all I can say is when a young man or woman would rather spend time on their screen than go hunting or fishing in that great outdoors that, that we have in this country, then something's wrong. We certainly both agree that fentanyl poisoning is uh, just a, a tragedy, that every day hundreds of Americans are dying from it, that in Kansas alone, we're using Narcan 10, 12, 14 times every day. So we agree on, on those goals. What I think is broken in healthcare is, is, is the cost of health care is the big problem. And the way I look at solving that problem is I like to think about the value, about a value-based solution. So to me, value is based upon outcomes plus patient satisfaction divided by the cost. So if we, if we get rid of innovation, then we may drive down some of those outcomes and some of, those, uh, some of that innovation as well and drive down the value of it. But I believe we can solve it, and then this is probably where we disagree. I think that we can solve health care, the cost of health care, through more transparency. I bet you we agree on that. I think through promoting innovation, I bet we agree on that. Uh, we need to go back to prescription drugs a little bit. And then lastly is what I call uh, consumerisms, make patients consumers again. And that's probably where we would disagree. I think that if we can promote competition and show customers, patients, what something really costs, then we can impact it. When we talk about prescription drugs, it's really the out-of-pocket expenses which, which patients are concerned about. It's the out-of-pocket uh, expenses, and we have a system now that we hide what the drug really costs from those patients. And I really think, as we think about this value proposition, I would ask uh, the people in this committee to consider what do pharmacy benefit managers bring to the table when it increases the value of, of health care, and instead they stand in the way of innovation. So we both agree that drug prices are, are too high and, and like the ranking member talked about, how do we promote innovation and still keep control of those drug prices, but we got to look at the out-of-pocket and we need to look and see, well, what are these pharmacy benefit managers really bringing to the table? From an education standpoint, I, I think that education is still the great equalizer. I publicly school educated myself, a first generation college student. Uh, my wife and I, both community college graduates. Um, in, in Kansas right now, the average community college graduate or technical college graduate has a higher starting salary than a four-year program. You know, why? How come? And by the way, what's their debt ratio? So I think some of the solutions are in our backyards. How do we accentuate those community colleges, technical colleges? How do we get high school students uh, involved in those technical programs at a younger age would be what I would enjoy looking at. So many opportunities, still the greatest country in the world. I'm proud to serve on this committee.